everybody, welcome. We just want you to know that we hit 200 subscribers. Hell yeah. It only took 34, 35 episodes of the podcast and a handful of other videos to get there, but... We got there. We fucking got there, bitches. Only 800 more to go till 1,000. Yep. Only 300 more to go to 500. Only one to go to to 201. <laughs> I'm I glad you put that math together for people. <laughs> by the time this comes out, it might be over 201. Yeah. But just know that whatever it is, you could be the next one. How exciting is that, guys? I can't imagine more of an incentive to s- s- smash that sub- subscribe button. Yeah. Yeah, it's not going to hurt you. Just do it. So to celebrate, <clears throat> I'm here with some ingredients. This is a uh, this is a shot that uh, a lot of my friends like, or at least they say they're like. I don't know if they're just being nice to me. <laughs> um, um, uh, this is this is the, the Cole homemade shot. This is, called, this is called the Cole gummy bear shot. All right. Okay. So, so we've got some UV... Red cherry vodka. Mm-hmm. Pour that in there with some peach schnapps. Okay. Mm. Drop in some pineapple juice. Okay. All right. It's a lot of fruit liquids. It is. Yeah. Take that bitch up. That sounds nice. That sounds no. Okay, cool. Yeah. It almost sounds in my headphones like I had a bunch of those little plastic dome toy things from a vending machine, like when you were younger. You know what I'm talking about? Like you could get like you could leave Toys R Us and there'd be like little homies in a fucking like coin machine and they'd be in those plastic things. Yeah. Sounds like I have ten of those. And I'm just like shaking them. So. But it's not. That. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you so you pour that into little mouthwash cups. Mouthwash cups. That's and not then, a rule. And then you top it off with some Sprite. Nice. <sighs> Cheers to a hella successful podcast. Hell yeah, we're the best of the best. We actually were voted number number one podcast by the yeah. ICT Podcast Alliance the other day. Yeah, they're the pros. Yeah, and we're waiting on the trophy. Yeah, they got the flag up and everything over there. <laughs> Thoughts? That tastes like gravy. <laughs> no, it tastes good. It doesn't even taste like alcohol. People are going to be thinking like that. Th- those ingredients do not equal gravy. <laughs> <laughs> Sprite plus cherry plus peach plus pineapple equals gravy. Jesus. White gravy. Now, there is there is more in here, so I'm just going to pour some cool. so that we don't waste shit. Sweet. But, um. Anyways. But yeah, yeah, that's good. To 200 subscribers. <clears throat> Hell yeah. Do you one swallow it or you have to like gulp it? I have to gulp it. It seems like too much um, liquid for a one swallow, but I'm also like not a pro. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get liquid on our on our moving blanket? I did. I just got a little bit of a cherry vodka on there. I just realized that there's been several times where I'm like, where's our other moving blanket? It's here. It's right here on this table. <laughs> <laughs> I just I realized that. No, but dude, that's not I I don't hear that you're not a pro when it comes to swallowing liquids. So I mean the street says otherwise. <laughs> Fantastic. Back me up, Chris. <laughs> Poor Chris. He'll Chris, be back on soon. Chris is not here. <laughs> but no, I've never been able to open up my throat like people do when they're just like chugging shit. Mm-hmm. I have no idea how people do that. Yeah, just when you're eating broths. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God damn it. But, uh, but yeah, like i've tried with like water to like practice oh, like yeah. a long time ago and i just can't i've got to yeah. do like multiple gulps i'm getting better at it with beer hmm. like yeah well, I, I know it's not the same thing but yeah. like but no like people are able to just like open up their throats and throw back a beer mm-hmm. and like not really even have to swallow yeah that's crazy yeah that's crazy that if if it's anything it's crazy so is it origin story time then i think it it tes all right so we're at 200 subscribers, which yeah. is a milestone for our podcast career. Yeah. Um, and we wanted to talk a little bit about how we just got started and shit like that. So, mm-hmm. I mean, <clears throat> so, something that I find interesting is how many of my friends think I'm a douchebag before they actually get to know me. 
Like, yep. like me. Cameron and I's first encounter <laughs> was a good one, I thought. But he actually thought I was an asshole. Oh, for sure. We, <laughs> we it was eighth grade. And um I went to different middle schools for middle school and eighth grade I it was my first year at Mayberry, so it was going to be my last year at Mayberry too. Yeah. And um, you know, I found comfort in being the funny guy mm-hmm. in friend groups because I had changed schools and I had, you know, I'd adapt it. Now I also growing up like in Rose Hill, I, I feel like I was one of the funny kids or whatever, but mm-hmm. you know, I had, I had grabbed onto that. That was my thing. And you know, I had this friend and I remember him, his name was Zach. And I remember him coming to me one day and being like, you know what? You really, I need to, I need to introduce you to Cole Campbell. <laughs> I'm like, he goes, he is so funny. He's funny like you. You guys be, you guys are both funny. And, I, and I'm just sitting there like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> I'm so glad too it was eighth grade and I didn't have my seventh grade like long hair. I feel like that would have oh, done more damage it been worse. To, the, to the first impression. Yeah. So there's like, I don't know how long it lasted before we like interacted. Yeah. I just remember like we're at the fucking lunch table and we got our like trays and our little corn and chicken nuggets. And, <laughs> and I'm like. You know, you could just at any moment look down the table because they were like long tables, like a yeah. prison. Yeah. And, we, <laughs> yeah <it was. laughs> and um, you could just see this dumbass cackling over shit and making everybody <laughs> laugh and shit and doing his stupid magic tricks. I wasn't and like, doing any magic tricks. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? But anyway, yeah, you would see the same people that it's my job to make laugh. He's making laugh. And I'm like. He's yeah. taking my job. I had claim. Yeah, like I had claim over that territory well before you did. Though. Yeah, well, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm the new trendy fucker in town that's coming in to steal your girl. <laughs> like, so, yeah. Anyway, I mean, I just uh, I don't know how long that lasted of me just being like, dude, fuck this guy. I really can't either because you did a good job at hiding it. And yeah. like, I, as far as I was concerned, we were cool with each other. We weren't really good friends, but we were cool. Yeah. And then, and then I think, I think what really hit it off was that we got stuck sitting next to each other, uh, in a, in a, <laughs> Kind of assembly or something like it was, a, but it was in an auditorium. Well, it was in the auditorium because I think it was like storming outside, yeah. and like they, uh, they instead of having a recess outside, they brought us into an auditorium to sit down and like yeah. talk. And Cameron and I got stuck sitting next to each other, and man, I think that was the first. We had we had a mental scenario of the principal being like naked doing like Domo Warigato Mr. Roboto on top of like the pil- like the yeah. rafters up there. But like that's that sounds so weird, I know. But like that was the first time I think ever I had I had had a mental scenario with somebody that was able to contribute and make it even more hilarious by putting more re- like insane little details in it. Yeah. I just remember that was like that was a that was a milestone for us for sure. It's it's actually weird too because I I believe and I could be remembering it wrong because we were thirteen yeah. <laughs> or twelve I don't remember yeah but um you know it I remember it being also one of those things where before we go into the auditorium it's just like the halls are packed with different classrooms lines and it's one of those things where like people are going in like like one at a time from each line so yeah. you can see this dude like approaching <laughs> oh, the entrance shit. the same pace as you and you're like. God damn it. <laughs> They're going to stick me like, next to that fucker. Like, I know. I just know what's going to happen. I'm going to be right next to that dude. Right next to that hater. <laughs> 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 and I just remember, like, it's a little stressful. And then, you know, when you get to it, you're all polite and shit. And you're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> fucking come. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. We're all but the in same your head, page. you're like having a fucking argument yeah. already. I, I remember that, too, now that you're bringing it up. Yeah. I totally forgot about that that detail yeah, about and, that. But I don't know at what point one of us was comfortable enough to be like, Hey, wouldn't it be funny if <laughs> I think it was, <laughs> or whatever. I, I think it was a combination of us both like testing the waters, not yeah. not like not thinking like, oh, is this gonna gonna be my next best friend? But like more of <laughs> like, uh, I'm gonna say this because it's mild. I don't really know his sense of humor. I don't want to like make him weirded out by yeah. it. And then you contribute something that's also weird. So I'm like, let me go a step further. And we just kept building and building. Yeah. It was fucking glorious. Like I bet it started as us just treating the other person as somebody that like we know we sat there for who as knows a how normal long, person as a normal heads, person that yeah. we were gonna make a joke to without really even thinking about it. And yeah. then yeah me or you kick in next and then the next person just it's just like adds a layer and adds a layer and adds a layer and it's like before you know we're crying and we can't breathe (laughs) yeah like holding our stomachs and and pretty much that's how most of the time when we hang out happens like we'll just Mm -hmm. be going to a shoot 
<laughs> like, we'll just be in the car, and some one little thing will spark, like, literally a 15, 20 minute conversation of us just being like, and then we did this. Oh my God. And like slapping shit because we're laughing. Like, like it's, it's hilarious. And I think, I think that's why, I think it's a missed opportunity that me and you aren't writers and we don't try to write comedy stuff. Yeah. Or try to figure out how to write comedy stuff because I think that's what happens with people who write for like SNL. Definitely need to try it sometime and like, like actually take it seriously because yeah, I think we'd be pretty good at it. It's just a matter of like, it's just, it's just a realm that we don't know about. And it's funny that you bring that up because the only other time in my life that I've encountered people that are able and willing to just blindly build off of a story, a mental scenario like that, something that's not even real or remotely possible, but they're just adding in details and laughing about it, was when I was standing with Hannah from Tall Grass mm-hmm. and a few other... Oh, yeah, you like, told me about this. Yeah, like Tall Grass uh, people. And, and like, I can't remember what it was, but somebody brought up something and then I, like, jokingly built on top of it, like, oh, yeah, what if this happened? And then they just, everybody started doing it in a circle and I remember, like, thinking what the fuck? This is the first time that's happened since Cameron yeah. and I, that, like so many years ago. Yeah. So I think it's a storyteller thing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I agree. I, I always remember growing up. Um, it's like everybody has a skill that they have. Yeah. And it's weird to them that other people can't do it. Yeah. You know, like growing up, I could always draw or whatever. Yeah. For somebody, you know, mm-hmm. so whatever that that's worth. But then it was always weird to me that we would have normal classroom projects that involved some kind of illustration and other people couldn't draw the same as me. And they're like, oh, it was always, you know, growing up, it was always like, oh, yeah, you got Cameron on your group, fucking blah, 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 drawing yeah, and shit. Yeah, definitely. Saying, no, like, to me, like, oh, that's flattering and everything. But I'm always like, I don't do anything special. Like, to me, I don't do anything special. To hmm. me, it's like, this is very much just how my brain works. You just have is- that talent. Yeah. And the same thing comes with <laughs> being the funny guy growing up making jokes in class and you start to get on a roll you know yeah. and people are laughing you and then you off add it. to it add yeah. to it and I imagine that's what happens to stand up comics when they're on a roll and they yeah. start to really feel the energy of the room and play off of it and you know growing up I'd always get the comment like you should be a stand up comedian like you're totally gonna be a stand up comedian when you get older mm-hmm. and I still want to try it sometime but like it, it always was weird to me when I'd have like a good role like in a classroom yeah. or in a setting where it's like you know it still happens when I go out with Ashley and start you know I'll start making jokes and it's yeah. like rolls into other jokes and I've always been weirded out that like well that guy could have done it or that girl could have done it. like it's always like how come it's just me it's always just me doing this and it's always other people just willing to laugh at it yeah like and they're you know they're always just commenting on like oh my god you're so funny it's crazy because those people have their own shit that they're like better than everybody else yeah. at and then but like they are just as entertained you know yeah. it's not like they they're hearing you do that and being like oh man I wish I was that funny. yeah like you know or something like that like so. I always expected their turn to come to be like okay yeah your joke time like what do you what do you have to contribute and then it never came yeah and I was always like oh like I guess everybody's not like that and then so it's weird when you meet somebody like that. And then it just, it, you can't breathe sometimes. Yeah. Like when you can't fucking breathe because two people are contributing so much to a stupid scenario that doesn't exist. I love it. Like it, the, the best, the best nights are the, or the best moments that we have are the ones where we are just crying. Yeah. And like, it's like an ab workout. After yeah. It's it like, sucks, but it's funny. It. Um, and, and yeah, so like we hit it off from there. We started making some stupid ass YouTube videos. Uh, yeah. those, those YouTube videos kind of ended up transitioning into some narrative type stuff, mm-hmm. some of which are still stupid. By the way, <laughs> yep. by the way, fuck everybody who downvoted the the pirate video that we posted. Yeah, <laughs> it's fucking year. like barely gold. I've it's been, like fool's gold. Oh my god, I've been <laughs> thinking about that so much lately. We posted a video, a recent one. It was yeah. like one of our first, like we're back kind of this current era of our yeah. YouTube channel. And it's like a really well done cinematic horror buildup. And then it ends with like me in a stupid ass pirate hat turning around in a swivel chair being like, ahoy matey. And then Cameron just going, <laughs> like, <laughs> He's like freaking going. out like I saw a ghost. <laughs> and I think, I think <laughs> got so many, di- it's so like many the, dislikes. It's like the surprise is what's funny. But it's also like, what do we title it and thumbnail it? Like, horror film. I know. Like, I think that was our demise for these people is they watched it anticipating a real horror movie <laughs> and then we're just hit by that fucking train at the end. <laughs> and we're just like, what? <laughs> like, well, first of all, okay, I know that you and I are a little different in this sense, but like, I don't go on, I, I don't know what you do, but like, I don't anticipate to put in any time watching a horror short film on YouTube. <laughs> 
<laughs> so like, I don't know what the expectation is. Yeah. If somebody is honestly disappointed that they weren't like watching it. Cause to me, I feel like even the few times I have gone, I'm like, Ooh, I'm going to watch this horror short. Like, yeah. Okay. I'm going to do this. If it ended with something like super surprising and stupid, yeah. I would laugh my ass off. I know. Off, I would have lost my and shit I would feel too. like I got got. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'd be so appreciative. It's just, of the it's feeling. just, a, it's a troll video. Like oh, it's just yeah. like if we reeled you in. And then we just shit yeah. in your face. But like, there's enough people who saw it. They were like, "Ugh, down vote," yeah. or like thumbs down this or isn't whatever. Funny. Like, yeah. Yeah. Fuck everybody. Fuck all you guys. Yeah, it was that. fucking funny. Because, because what? Oh, what you expected? Something was gonna pop out and be scary, and the person was gonna freak out. Was gonna fade to black. Right. Oh. Would, you, would you have upvoted it then? Yeah. If we just did a cheap ass jump scare that yeah. everybody else does. Exactly what you expected. No, we did exactly what you didn't expect, which was some stupid shit, and you should have liked it. Not our fault. You don't like change. You close minded. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. God. I hate everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we do stuff like that. And then, you know, the, that video turned into us doing like dumbass fake dance tutorial and shit, Andy's which is skates just, a lot. <clears throat> oh my God. Andy's or skates a lot does not get enough credit. Dude. I don't know how to even <clears throat> explain this enough. It's a beautiful one. It doesn't have enough views. Like, I know. Andy, we made a video called Andy's or skates a lot. <laughs> And you might have seen it. It's we'll Cole. Link it in the con- in the uh, description. It's Cole in the character of this douchey, <laughs> failed rollerblader. Yeah. That who's not even good. <laughs> that's like hates the world and is super entitled and like judgy. Pas- yeah, passionate about like making sure you know that he is like known. Yeah. And sponsored. Yeah. Like to the point where like clearly I've hired this videographer to follow me around yeah. and film me skating. And like when he fails, me as a videographer does not stop filming him. <laughs> right. And like he falls into fucking hypodermic needles that I had had. <laughs> that <laughs> sentence alone is so funny. The <laughs> fact that we just we had that idea in our head and we were like, yes, we need to include this. I think our problem was waiting till the end to have you fall into needles <laughs> because because yeah, what happens is, you know, we have <laughs> I've had these hypo needles in a box labeled props for probably five years. Yeah. Like, I've had them forever. Like, one day I'm going to need those needles. My wife's mom gave them to me. Along with a lot of uh, the cell phones that we used. Yeah, I have cell phones from working at Sprint. They're, like, just double or working at the cell phone store for just, like, um, they're just fake cell phones, like, old model cell phones. And I got them even from when I used to work at, like, Target Mobile. Yeah. And um, I just have them in case we ever need something in a in a film or whatever where somebody has to huck a phone and mm-hmm. we, just know we don't need to care about it. So what I, I came up with, like, two or three phones for us to use. <laughs> yeah, day. yeah. And it's, like... You know, you're throwing them in water. You're constantly dropping them. And it's just you being like, I go into the cell phone store, man. And yeah. you, and Coming back fucking, with new shit. And then you're like, I got this Bluetooth because I got like, fake Bluetooth. <laughs> so I got all sorts of shit. I got fake uh, like smart watches and shit. You're like, dude, it's upside down. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's no, just, it's not. It's just this dumbass who like. Skate away and reach <laughs> And it's like, you know, this motherfucker got suckered into buying all this shit. Like it wasn't, I but know. it's like, he's calling his sponsor shit. <laughs> I forgot about that part too. Like sponsor man. Like you're Oh my shit. God, dude. But then you keep breaking it. That was great. But it's shit like that. And then at the, I think our failure was waiting till the end to have you like fall and then me zoom in and then you get up and there's a needle hanging out of your you arm. You think we should have started? Or, or like I don't brought think a lot of people up. even made it to that part. Yeah. That's a shame. Even yeah, even though I think in the thumbnail it's like you being, <laughs> like, oh yeah, with the needles. The whole video is fucking amazing. The fact that that <clears throat> random kid on a bicycle like came by yeah. and like shouted out his own YouTube channel. Yeah, I'm like fucking stupid ass bikes. <laughs> yeah, like we just used <laughs> like, it. It was real in the moment. Great. We used it. Yeah. Um, I can't wait to do a sequel, which we totally anticipate. I know we have a lot of ideas for a sequel, but yeah. it's um. Just a quick little, the hypodermic needles, like, go watch it. It's pretty fucking funny if you don't it's make great. it for the first part. Like, you make sure you watch the whole part because it's like, we, Cole and I had to, like, figure out how to get these, I had to take the needle parts off. It's definitely not the smartest And then solution. we had to super glue the tips of the, the syringe part to your body so that it looked like when it hung, it was like pulling the skin with it. Yeah. So it just, like, it's just, it's just super glue on my own skin. <laughs> That's, it's fine. But did it, it for the video. I mean, that's a that was an amazing video. We need to come up with more shit like that. I know, yeah. But it, it just sucks that there's just no time. Yeah, but you we, know. Well, what's even more dumb is that like that video 
takes like an hour and a half to shoot. That's true. It's like literally us. Because when we shoot something, it's not like we have a huge plan. Right. We have a tiny idea and then we go out and we're just like, oh, do this. <laughs> Andy Serge Gizlot, all we had planned was the needles and yeah. then just and then just the cell phone stuff yeah. and, and everything needles, else. And the needles were the biggest obstacle because the one thing we planned didn't work. We had to do like three different versions of trying it. Yeah. Because it didn't work. Because it, it wouldn't stick. Yeah. But, oh my God. That's why it's like we do just need to get you another like Cole and I flirted with the idea of just like Andy just skates a lot going through like different iterations of like small wheel toys yes and like him being like I'm here to talk about this stupid shit like it's like little hoverboards and shit almost like it could turn into like a little review channel yeah and it's funny and it's just you constantly hating and falling and like eating shit on all these things that you don't understand so they're stupid (laughs) yeah exactly (laughs) (laughs) and and we have had uh, a couple requests anyways to have Andy Swiss kids let on the podcast which we might do sometime that would be a good one if we can't figure out something to do just in character yeah because then I just have to like interact with him like hey we're here with our guest Cole's out today. <laughs> We'd both have to get into yeah. character for it. And then I'd have to be like, all right, so um Andy, how are we doing? And yeah. then it's you just being like fucking nerds out there. Because <laughs> you just call everybody nerds. <laughs> we need to do that. That'd be great. Alright, next time we're like, we don't have any ideas. Like all you have to we'll do just, is we'll throw on that. that stupid fucking dinosaur hoodie you just bought and fuck. <laughs> You know what? Let's talk about it. let's let's talk about the dinosaur hoodie. That's your new Andy Sir Skate Slot hoodie. I'm fucking down. That shit's fly as fuck. It, it is pretty cool. But like Dude, that's thanks, a perfect man. like it adds color to that character. And I think it it's does. Great. And uh so so And if we fuck it up making you fall, we'll just buy you another one. Yeah, we'll be fine. <laughs> Julie said it was the ugliest thing she's ever seen. And yeah. I tried for months to get her to like <clears throat> let me buy it. And and one day I showed her that there were matching sweatpants to go with it. Nice. And she's like <sighs> You can only buy the hoodie if you never buy the sweatpants. <laughs> She's and, like, there's a and, worse option so you can have half of it. And so I was like, I was like, for real? Okay, sounds good. And um, and so I bought the hoodie. It came in yesterday. Mad hyped about it. It looks fucking far. A lot of people agree. <laughs> a lot of people don't though. But my mo- I'm talking on the phone with my mom. And she and she's like she's like oh it's like so ridiculous and I'm like yeah I uh, I wanted to get the sweatpants the matching sweatpants with it so I could wear the hoodie and the sweatpants all in that dinosaur colorful shit and uh, but I agreed to for with Julie that I would never that I couldn't buy it that's how I got the hoodie and she's like my mom's like well what if I bought you the sweatpants <laughs> and I was like well I mean shit mom I don't think that was in the rules. <laughs> So, and so my mom just sends me a screenshot of the transaction purchase. It said done. I, I saw that she posted on Facebook. Like, is it sad that I just bought these for or some some kind of comment like that? Yeah, and I was like, oh my god, dude, I'm gonna have the whole so, thing. So you guys found the loophole. Yes, and then now you will have the pants. Dude, Julie's so pissed. And she's gonna be. Oh, she is pissed. Julie, Julie knows. She knows. <laughs> she she's already told me, like dead serious, that she will not go out in public with me if I wear that. She's like, you can wear it with your fucking friends. You can wear it on your, uh, by yourself. You can wear it by yourself. As long as I'm with you in public, you're not wearing any of that shit. We'll see. <laughs> we will see. I, I plan on smuggling it in somehow and then going to the bathroom of a restaurant that we're at and then changing. The best thing to do is just put clothes over it. There you go. Just, just like, like why do you look like, thick? Yeah, extra fucking <laughs> yeah. like, lumpy and like shit. Like tear away track clothes with the buttons and shit. And then like when you get to a restaurant or whatever, you can be like, <laughs> like I'm here, bitch. <laughs> Everybody's fainting and shit. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. But All the guys are just pissed. Right. Like, Damn yeah. it. I know. Like, shit, that guy has so much fucking swag. Is man. that Jason Derulo? <laughs> Jason Derulo. <laughs> like, God. Man, dude, I was listening to 2008's hits mm-hmm. the other day on Spotify, yeah. and it's it's just all the songs. I think we talked about it on one of our recent podcasts. I can't remember, or if it was just a conversation between you and I, but all of the songs just remind me of skating, of us like going to Roller City and skating. Oh, yeah. Did we talk about that? Yeah, on, like, we talked about that last time, I think. Okay, cool. but I, couldn't, I couldn't think if we did or not. I think. Maybe we just talked about it. I don't fucking know. But, but like, man, good times. Yeah. Those are some of the best. Yeah. And the music itself was fucking dope. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because then we talked about, like, cosmic bowling and shit. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not saying bless you, which means you're going to go to hell. Oh, dude, no. Shouldn't have sneezed. Please. (laughs) I wish I could, like, sneeze on command. I don't want to go. (laughs) 
And they're like kind of a standoff of sneeze and bless you. <laughs> You're like, I'm not going to say it unless you fucking say it. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, we're, uh, we're almost done with time, but is there anything going on in, with you right now? How, how are you, how are you doing? How's everything? You know what? I'm doing okay. I, I am. I'm just working. I'm just doing this. Yeah, dude. And I am. Uh, you know, I. I, 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 I didn't expect this question. <laughs> <laughs> Let me check my notes. Is one of those moments where you're just like, I'm. I'm gonna say something funny and stupid afterwards, and then it just won't come, and yeah. you're just like, you're just like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's much. like when you like know you can pee or like you ha- like you're like oh I need to pee a little bit and you're, sitting there like, <laughs> and you're sitting there like okay anytime now and you can like almost feel it coming or almost have a sneeze sneeze is a better example <laughs> yeah <laughs> sneeze is a way better example <laughs> on the point of sneezes it's like almost having a sneeze and being like any moment any moment yeah. and you're like waiting for that funny thing to come out and it doesn't it's the worst yeah it's, I mean I I know you know that more than anybody the sneezes part or not coming up not with coming up with anything funny to say part you're right yep well guys <sighs> on that note <laughs> nobody wants that <laughs> on that note um <clears throat> thanks so much for tuning in again i hope you enjoyed the origin story of cameron and cole yeah. well, well we we wanted to kind of go into like how we started our business and kind of like the, what we've gone through to get to this point in no <clears throat> way are we saying we're super successful at our business yet we still have a lot of obstacles to go over and a lot of like a lot of uh, targets to reach and all that stuff but it might be helpful to anybody out there who is thinking about starting a business or if anybody's just curious about how it went. So yeah. possibly the next podcast we'll be talking about something like that. Yep. So tune in. Thank you guys for listening. And please subscribe. Please subscribe. Please I said. Please subscribe. Subscribe. Yeah. Please subscribe. Let's do it. Please subscribe. That's right. <laughs>